Well, I'd like to uh, congratulate our, our players and our coaches. Uh, you know, it's a very good accomplishment, and uh, our guys have worked very hard. Players, coaches, everybody. It's uh, stuck together as a team. We've had a few injuries here and there, but the guys have always have always stuck together and taken up for each other and, and made a play when they need to, and whoever needed to take up a slack, take up a slack, or get a hit, or make a pitch, or whatever it may be. So it's uh, very exciting to win that uh, championship, the regular championship, and. Uh, Hopefully that would be the start to some great things. It's quite a weekend. Yeah, it's a big weekend. I mean, it's, it doesn't seem like it's a weekend. It seems like we were here today, which we were. So it was, I guess the last 24 hours have been uh, huge as far as uh, playing a lot of baseball and our guys sticking together and playing hard. And North Carolina's got a very good club, and they're playing good, and they came in playing good. So, you know, it's a nice accomplishment to, uh, to win and beat a good club. Were you wondering how you'd be today after that crazy day yesterday? Yeah, you know, I you can't ever figure this out. You know, I thought that the team that lost yesterday would be down in the dumps. I was very concerned about that one in the 14th, 15th inning. And I'm thinking, geez, we, we need to win the game. If we, if we lose this one, that team that coming back is going to be down in the dumps. Well, it's just the opposite. So, you know, for psychology 101, I flunked. So I guess, you know, I can't ever figure that out. But uh, our guys, we did what we tried to do, thought would be right to get them out, to get them up early, get a meal in them do some practice, do some stuff to get them wake up, even though we didn't get a lot of sleep last night. And uh, I know I didn't personally. And uh, so it was uh, it was good. And uh, they played hard. They stuck together. And uh, they knew uh, what their goal was today and what it meant. And uh, I thought we played well. How, how impressed are you with David Thompson? Oh, it's great to have him back. He's uh, very excited. He, uh, of course, he got the game winning a hit today. And uh, he made a, uh, a big pick there in the eighth inning. Uh, at first base, and he made a couple of those uh, picks where I uh, got two balls in the dirt, so he played very solid defense along with getting some, some good hits, and it's, it's good to have him back in the middle of the lineup. Also, another play, impressive play, Abreu's throw. Yeah, to that was third. a big play. Of course, yeah. a big play, and, uh, you know, Bolt's a second run right there. He's got really good speed, very good player, and, and really threw it right on, right on the target, and one hop, perfect throw, and dead out. So and that's what it took to get him, but uh, no, that was a big play. Jim, I know we talked about this this week, but you know, why do you think that you guys deserve a national seed? Well, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't think we have one locked up yet. Personally, you know, okay. I wish we did, and, and you know, I sort, I, I haven't seen, I haven't had time to look at Twitter like Ty Palmer has, I guess. But uh, he had, the uh, that every regular season champion was a, uh, uh, a national seed. I think we still got to go play good in the ACC tournament to achieve that. If we play good in that, then I think we deserve it. We're very close to me. We're kind of kind of on the bubble. We still need to play well to the ACC tournament. Okay. Does this have the feel of a 2008 season a little bit? I know you guys lost there in the World Series, but that was the last time you made it to Omaha. Well, it does. I mean, our team is just a special chemistry with our team and are playing well and are getting big hits. We won lots of one-run games, a lot of close games, which we a lot of takes, and, and they stick together as a group. And that, that team in the 208 uh, was very, very close, and, and this club right here is very close. Okay. You know, the ACC doesn't doesn't officially recognize the, you know, the uh, the winner of the, the regular season winner of the conference, but um, like I put in my story, everybody who wins it does. And I saw you were wearing the, you know, the t-shirts. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's a huge difference yeah. because uh, it determines what bracket you're in. Uh, it means now that we got to play, the first game we play will get, be against a play-in person. Huh. So we'll be sure. facing somebody's number two, I assume, versus somebody's number one, which is an advantage. We also get to name what day we want to play mm. or what day we don't want to play, right. which is important. And we haven't decided that at this point, uh, whether we want to take off Wednesday or we want to take off, you know, normally if we hadn't rained yesterday, we didn't have to play a double header, then we would probably say let's take off Friday. So our bullpen could throw, if we need them on Wednesday, Thursday, take off Friday and have them for Saturday, Sunday. So we got to determine, it's just going to be determined by uh, what's best for our pitching staff to, uh, to be able to play. I was going to ask you about the pitching rotation. Uh, I don't how, know the how does that usually that. work? I've, yeah, yeah it's, it's whoever it's, we want to go, of course. It, it, it won't be uh, B Rad opening game, that's for sure. But uh, right. I swear I didn't throw a lot of pitches uh, yesterday. That's the good news and bad news. Right. And, uh, and Diaz, uh, you know, has it's a five day rotation like Major League Baseball for him to pitch on Wednesday or Thursday. If we choose to take off Wednesday, uh, it would be like him pitching Thursday, so it would be. 
you know, five day rotation like Major League Baseball. For us, we use seven day rotations. Right. But for Major League Baseball, and we do that some for tournaments. So I'm sure that uh, Chris Diaz can throw. And I want to look at the matchup too. I don't know what time today we'll know who what the matchups are. I assume very soon. So we'll have to uh, see that too. When you guys were 12 and 13, you didn't really have the 13 and 12. 13 and 12. Sorry, yeah. You guys kind of didn't really have the uh, the feel of a team that was going going to get much worse than that. You just kind of had a, a sense you'd figure it out. Why? Well, we're just fighting. You know, we're a young guy. We're a young team. Had a lot of young players at that point. We had some injuries. We were battling through. We really hadn't got our feet on the ground. And uh, we went to Florida Gulf Coast and uh, played an outstanding game at Florida Gulf Coast. And I think we went uh, uphill from there. And uh, and I had to look back. I don't know what we've won now, but a bunch. It's 27 out of 30. 27 out of 30. 28 right? out of 31. Something. I don't know what it is. But Good, a great, yeah. great streak to end the season right there, and uh, that's uh, that was the takeoff or, or the start of a you know this right here was that particular day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks.